Hello there, Aeroner here, and today we are going to review my alliance, the Hittite faction in the Troy. Uh, this is led by Mestless, versatile archer hero with uh, quite many useful abilities to make him faster or even more faster or to get more reloading and make a triple shot. <clears throat> this is a good archer hero. Maybe I would recommend using him on the archer chariot in multiplayer battles. Let's review his roster. So, uh, we are starting with Myonian roster, uh, which is having the sword. Cop These are Kopesh units, yeah. And this is your Kopesh frontline. They are going to be perfect against early game spears and they are able to hold or kill spears efficiently. Against other weapons they are not going to do very well. Next for flanking we have Myonian Light Swordsman. These guys are very fast, having big shields and flanking at an improve. This is your MVP unit in early game. They are pretty uh, performing very well. And then we got my onion skirmishers. These are very fast skirmishers with standard range and javelins. You will be using their mobility and ammunition very very well. So that was the Maonian roster. Uh, but we are a Hatite faction as well. And I have to tell you, we have two rosters inside of this faction. And in campaign, you will have to decide whether you go to this uh, Hittite roster as well. So, Hittite roster is having the Spears frontline. Uh, this is better than standard Achaean Spears, even though he has almost the same stats. Uh, next we have the Hittite Warriors, our axe uh, kind of frontline fodder. Uh, they might be a weak with their weapon and weak stats, but their flanking defense improved is too old to make them good for flanking or against flanking. So you, you are going to use this, this for messy and confusing battles. And next for the early game Hittite roster we got Hittite archers. Uh, they are better than a standard bowmen because of their missile damage output and battlefield healing. That's very good. Uh, I will quickly go back to the roster. You can uh, decide between uh, Hittite roster which is frontline and archers or you can start start right away with the mobile flanking skirmishing kind of roster and in campaign you will have to do such decisions let's move to the mid game in mid game our kopesh frontline is having better weapon and good stats they are going to melt enemy spear frontlines without problem but they are going to struggle uh, against many other units. That's why you got Myonian runners. They have 50 speed for a light unit and they are perfect flankers. They are going to melt enemies that are being flanked by you. So this is going to be MVP for your Myonian roster. Also we can use uh, Javelin men. They have pretty solid javelins, they are able to dish a lot of damage against armor targets. So, and with a good speed, you are going to use them. One unique unit of the Marionians are the horse riders. These skirmishers are very fast mobile. You can vanguard deploy them and this fits into the aggressive and skirmishy Myonian playstyle. If you want uh, more solid and passive playstyle, 
you go with the Hittite roster and Hittite armor spearmen. These guys are going to hold their ground and if they get uh, under 50% of HP they are going to have even more defense. So these Hittites are going to hold their ground perfectly. To support their flanks I recommend using Hittite uh, veterans. Uh, they they have just flanking defense improved and average stats, but that is enough to make them viable. And to support your frontline, you got Hittite armor archers. They have pretty good range and damage, and for, you can use them for skirmishing because of the battlefield healing. So they are going to recover from the enemy slings, for example. And we got also um, Archer Chariots, look at these beautiful feathers. They are good for skirmishing and uh, relatively decent at melee charging, but I would re not recommend using them in melee charging. And then we are going to move to late game units. Our Kopesh frontline is more armored, is having much stronger weapon against spears. They have pretty good stats, uh, but they are lacking any other abilities. So this is mostly for your frontline or anti-frontline unit. Uh, for more ambushing tactics, we have Maionian nobles, which are similar to warriors of Itaca. Without Vanguard, you can uh, do very nice flanking thanks to their stalk and strong weapon, and they are going to be very scary on the battlefield. So I would recommend using them. And then we got the Maionia Noble Skirmishers. They have much stronger javelins than a tier before. Uh, if they are get to in melee, they are able to protect themselves to some degree. So pretty good javelin unit. And for chariots, we got the, we finally got some me melee chariot for this uh, Maionian roster. Uh, they have pretty good damage and and good stats. Very good option. And we got the Hittite roster and Hittite elites. So Hittite Noble Spearmen have uh, amazing defense and strong weapon. They are going to hold very well. They have last stand, as mentioned before. But if they manage to get under 20% of HP, they are going to Berserk. And do you know what that Berserk means? It means they are going to have this kind of attack defense, their stamina is reset and they are going to hold for even longer. So these Hittites are refusing to die. To support them, we have finally a very good uh, upgrade of uh, Hittite Axe line. Hittite Nobles have flanking immunity. This is a very essential and good ability. They are going to support your spears very well or you can use them for flanking. They are very good against swords and spears so I bet you are going to use these guys. And for archers we got well armored archers with um, good range and damage output and you can heal up from the skirmishing and these bows are heavy and yes they are able to stop chariot i have tested this and you can you can face tank enemy chariot and for the very strong uh, chariot option we have hittite heavy chariots they are more armored and stronger than Echian or Trojan chariots, so you are going to be quite fearsome. Be aware you have 10 models instead of 12, but their stats and damage makes up for it. So, 
Uh, so with this roster, you got plenty of options. You can go with more mobile units, my onion roster, or you can go with the solid Hittite frontline and archers roster. In campaign, this will be very funny to play. Uh, and you will have to make such decisions. That's why I recommend this for advanced players who want to make versatile rosters. But you can uh, you can play it easily and choose one roster and stick with it. Okay, I think that is all and see you later.